In this video, you will learn how to identify key features of quadratic functions represented by graphs and tables, how to identify which quadratic graph matches a set of key features, and how to interpret what the key features of a real-world quadratic function mean. Some of the key features to look at in a quadratic function are the function maximum or minimum and the function intercepts. The graphs of quadratic functions are parabolic in shape. The maximum or minimum of a quadratic function occurs at the vertex of the parabola. When the parabola opens downward, it will have a maximum function value at the vertex. When the parabola opens upward, it will have a minimum function value at the vertex. X and Y intercepts are located where the graph intersects the X and Y axes. Remember that quadratic functions are symmetric about a vertical line through the vertex. So, in a table, the vertex will occur in the middle of the symmetrical points in the table. X-intercepts are points where the function value is zero. Quadratics can have zero, one, or two X-intercepts. If only one X-intercept is shown in the table, it does not occur at the vertex. Use the symmetry of the function to determine the other x-intercept. The y-intercept is a point with an x value of 0. Let's look at some examples of identifying key features of quadratics. Identify the maximum or minimum function value, the y-intercept, and any x-intercepts of f of x and g of x. F of x is a parabola that opens upward, so the minimum occurs at the vertex. The vertex of the parabola is at 1, negative 4, so the minimum function value is negative 4. The y-intercept is where the parabola intersects the y-axis, which is at 0, negative 3. The x-intercepts occur where the parabola intersects the x-axis. F of x intersects the x-axis at negative 1, 0, and 3, 0. g of x is represented by a table of values. Look for symmetry in the function values to help locate the vertex. You can see that in the function values, above and below the 16 are 15s, and then two spaces above and below the 16, the function values are 12s. So the point negative 2, 16 lies on the axis of symmetry and is the vertex of the parabola. All other values in the table are less than 16, so 16 must be the maximum function value. The y-intercept occurs when x equals 0, so the point 0, 12 is the y-intercept. The x-intercepts occur when g of x equals 0. You can see that 2, 0 is one of the x-intercepts. Because this x-intercept does not occur at the vertex, there must be another x-intercept. Use the symmetry of the table to determine its location. The x-value 2 is 4 units to the right of the x-value of the vertex, negative 2. The other x-intercept must be located 4 units to the left of the vertex. 4 units to the left of negative 2 is negative 6, so the other x-intercept is negative 6, 0. So the x-intercepts of g of x are 2, 0 and negative 6, 0. Now let's look at how to determine which graph matches a description of key features. A quadratic function has zeros at negative 6 and 2 and a maximum value of 4. Which graph represents this function? Zeros of a quadratic function are the x values that make the function value 0. So they are the x values of the x-intercepts. Look at choice A. Does the graph have zeros at negative 6 and 2 and a maximum value of 4? It has x-intercepts at negative 6, 0, and 2, 0. So it has zeros of negative 6 and 2. However, it has a maximum value between 5 and 6, not at 4. 
Remember that the maximum value is located at the vertex and not the y-intercept. Look at choice B. Does the graph have zeros at negative 6 and 2 and a maximum value of 4? It has x-intercepts at negative 6, 0, and 4, 0, so it does not have a zero of 2. It also does not have a maximum value of exactly 4. Look at choice C. Does the graph have zeros at negative 6 and 2 and a maximum value of 4? It has x-intercepts at negative 2, 0, and 6, 0. So it has zeros of negative 2 and 6, not negative 6 and 2. It does have a maximum value of 4, but does not have the correct zeros. Look at choice D. Does the graph have zeros at negative 6 and 2 and a maximum value of 4? It has x-intercepts at negative 6, 0, and 2, 0. So it has zeros of negative 6 and 2. The vertex is located at negative 2, 4. So the maximum value is 4. This graph fits all the criteria, so choice D is the correct answer. Now let's look at a real-world quadratic function. The height in feet of a toy rocket can be modeled by a quadratic function in terms of the time in seconds since the rocket was launched. The function contains the points 0, 0, 130, and 2, 0. What is the maximum height of the rocket? For how long is a rocket in the air? From what height was a rocket launched? The quadratic function in this model would have x values representing the time and y values representing the height. The points 0, 0 and 2, 0 means at 0 seconds and 2 seconds after launch respectively, the height was 0. This would mean the rocket is on the ground at these points. So the rocket starts at the ground level and is back to the ground level after two seconds. This can be used to answer the last two questions. The rocket was in the air for two seconds. The rocket was launched from ground level or at a height of zero feet. The maximum height of the rocket would occur at the vertex of the parabola. The parabola is symmetric, so the vertex must be halfway between x equals 0 and x equals 2. This means the point 130 is the vertex. The point 130 means that after one second, the height of the rocket is 30 feet. So the maximum height of the rocket is 30 feet. Now you know more about how to identify key features of quadratic functions represented by graphs and tables how to identify which quadratic graph matches a set of key features, and how to interpret what the key features of a real-world quadratic function mean. Thanks for watching.